Tanya Brooker drove into the Eastern Iowa airport this morning, expecting to jump on a plane that would take her home to Sydney, Australia. But that plan didn't quite work out. I was going to go to uh, Dallas to LA, and apparently the plane from Dallas um, was coming from Chicago, so they don't have a plane for us right now. Tanya and her parents came to Fairfield for a meditation retreat. But now that relaxing trip has turned into a headache. Up until today, everything's gone beautifully, and this has been a bit of a hiccup. Tanya now has to rebook two domestic flights, plus a 15-hour flight to Sydney. <laughs> it's been a bit stressful. She's just one of hundreds of travelers stranded in Cedar Rapids, many waiting in long lines to find a new way home. We're just waiting in line. Haven't heard a thing. Has it been moving pretty quickly or? Not, no. <laughs> More than a dozen flights were canceled before noon today. And as far as when those flights would be rescheduled. We haven't been told when that's going to be and um, everybody's sort of in a wait and see stance to see when they get the Chicago Center up and running again. That means Tanya and her family will have to find a place to stay tonight. They told me so I can't leave until about 1.30 tomorrow. And she has to go back to work on Monday. She's hoping to touch down in Sydney before then. In Cedar Rapids, Sarah McCarthy, KCRG TV9 News.